Hello, everyone. Julio Petrovic, Product Manager at NetAlly, here to show you very quickly how to run a roaming test on the Etherscope NXG. So the way it works is pretty straightforward. First, you need to start by connecting to the network uh, to which you want to perform the roaming test on. So to do that, we'll go to the auto test. Then we'll select the network to which we want to connect to. For example, this one called LRG. After that, we just tap on start to start the connection test. Notice that you'll go through different steps of the connection process from seeing if you can actually connect to the Wi-Fi to getting an IP address. Can I see the DHCP server? Can I see the DNS server and so on? And then when the connection is done, now you can see the second option here where it says the name of, or the, of the network or the SID and the number of rooms. Well, we want to see more details. So let's just, just tap in there. Now on this screen, basically we can see details of the status of the connection. So you can see signal, noise, SNR, utilization over time, retries over time and more. And then basically now we just start walking. You will notice that as I walk farther away from the access point I'm connected to, the signal strength becomes weaker and weaker. And there will be a point where, hey, the signal will be too weak. So the Etherscope will start looking for a new access point to connect to. And in this case, you'll see that at about, I think, if my threshold is correct, minus 65 dBm, there we go, you'll see the, the dotted line that basically highlights when the Etherscope started looking for a new access point. And then the solid line tells you when it connected to that access point. Notice that uh, one cool little thing here is that you can see details about the AP you were connected to, the AP you ended up connecting to, or to, that you roamed to. You can also notice that you can stop the graph uh, from moving and just pull it back and see more details about that roaming process or basically see when it happened. The same thing will apply to all the other graphs like utilization. Then also notice that you'll be able to see uh, retries, the transmit rates. You can notice here, for example, how my rates went down uh, when I roamed and then reconnected. And then another part that's very important is the connection log. So if you want to see the details step by step of what happened during the roaming process, you can just tap where it says connect log. And here you'll be able to see everything that happened with uh, timestamps and everything. Anything from when I started looking uh, for an AP to connect to or my initial connection to a network, the authentication request, you can see the association request. You can see the four-way handshake going on there. You may notice also that 802.11r uh, was being supported by this network. Then as I moved and continue walking and walking, you'll see that in a few moments, I will start uh, looking for an AP to roam to. And you'll, you'll see the, all the APs in the area that the Etherscope uh, looked at and said, eh, okay, let's try this one or that one or that one. I don't like this one. Okay, this one here has a good signal. So let me try to authenticate, then go to the reassociation process. Then again, the four way handshake and basically uh, complete the connection to the new access point. So pretty straightforward guys. Then also on the upper right, one thing you'll notice those little three dots uh, if you tap in there, basically that will allow you to upload your log files to Link Live. So not only do you get the results of the connection test, but you can attach the entire roaming uh, log file or details and update oh, learn to Link Live. And anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, pretty straightforward, as you can see, uh, quick and easy to perform a roaming test with the Etherscope NXG. Uh, thank you for watching.